at Boots and Hearts with Lindsay Broughton, who was on stage just a I little was. while ago. Yes, I was. I have to ask you, what was the most interesting or unusual thing you saw out in the crowd while you were on stage? Holy today? loaded question. There was a <laughs> lot of stuff going on out there. Um, I don't know. You know what? There was a lot of shirtless people and people wearing... Um, bathing well they weren't even bathing suits like just pieces of material in the audience um i think you i think maybe you can't even deem them as butt know, cheeks clothing. and side boobs exactly thank you i didn't want to say it, but i'm not, yeah. <laughs> i'll go there Lindsay. okay I don't thank mind. you I thank don't you okay good okay you said it you said it but yeah there was a lot of that out there yeah. but it was awesome you know it's a hot day i get it but uh it was fun lots of good people good you know what else was a good time 2013 cmao mm-hmm. awards yes you were actually sitting, I believe, in front of us mm-hmm. in the audience, and then you won the Rising <laughs> Star Award. I know. I know. I, a fun tidbit for that, started freaking out a little bit, because I'm like, you we're did. sitting on the outside. <laughs> then, well, we, Kix ended up winning for radio station. Oh, right, right. I feel too, like that's always but. an indicator. If you're sitting on the end of a row, you always know you might have a chance of taking home the award. But it's crazy. This past year, for the CCMAs, I was nominated but they had us all, all the nominees lined up on the edge. So I was like, well, they didn't really give anything away with this one. So, but See, that's uh, how you start know, out. You think, oh, I'm sitting on the end. That's I'm guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work out that no, way, No, it didn't work out, but, but yeah, still cool. The new single, We Don't Mix. Uh, tell us a little bit about how that song came about. Um, well, do you know what Tinder is? Uh, well, yes, I'm not on it, but I know of it. Yes. I wasn't alluding to that, the fact that you were, but uh, yeah. So a lot of my girlfriends and guy friends, they're you know, looking for the one they're looking to get married these days. And they're looking for that person on Tinder, Mm -hmm. unfortunately. And, uh, they've been on a lot of dates, a lot of disaster dates and stuff like that, but they've been on some great ones. And one of my girlfriends recently, she came to me and she said, you know, I went on this date with this guy and we got along. There was good conversation. We had a okay time, but for whatever reason, the two of us, we just didn't click. We just didn't mix. Yeah. And I thought, you know what? That's a great idea. That's a great concept for a song. So I took it into my writer. I was writing with three other Ontario writers at the time. And uh, we wrote this song in an hour and a half. And I took it to my producer, Jeff Dalziel. And he's been working a lot with Brett Kissel recently. So he is a mastermind. He is a genius. And uh, he put it together for me. And I took it to the label and played it. And they loved it. So we released it as a single. What is it about country music that kind of that you gravitated towards rather than, say, another genre? You know, I feel like it's kind of been bred into me. Like, my mom, she's been a country singer for my whole life, and growing up with it, I love the story songs. I love to listen to lyrics. Being a lyric writer myself, you know, I can really appreciate a great song and a great concept for a song. And, you know, I use writing and music as an outlet for me, so I can hear a lot of that and a lot of raw great things in songs and pieces of music so you know I, I i don't know i think that that's kind of what i love about country music the most is probably the lyrics and the story songs cool and on twitter it says you're a dog enthusiast what oh. does that mean <laughs> I that just means know. i just want to be surrounded by dogs <laughs> and have them all licking me at once puppy no. party yeah no, it's funny actually somebody asked me that question the other day and they gave me this big long dog quiz and i failed every question oh, so no. i don't actually know that much information Maybe about enthusiast dogs. is not the word to use, Lindsay. <laughs> I like dogs. I like dogs. I should just put that. I should just put that. You're right. I know. Uh, and finally, I want to ask you, you posted something about spotting an Elton John doppelganger. Yes. In a Toyota Corolla yesterday, a green one, but it was, you know, it was kind of run down, but I kid you not, it yeah. was his doppelganger. It was, it should have been Elton John and he had a sticker on the bumper, like on the bumper of his car that said, um, what was it? Warning singing in car or I may be singing or something so I was like you know so what so he's probably heard that before then yeah you know, so like I don't know but pretty cool though right yeah and people kept tweeting me and they're like you know what where was it because Elton John lives in this area and this area and he's been known to be seen and spotted in this area so maybe it was him who knows maybe he's just flying under the radar a little bit other things you see at Boots and Hearts I guess yes exactly <laughs> exactly <laughs> Lindsay Rotten thank you so much for chatting today hey, no problem Thanks enjoy for the rest me. of the Boots experience thank you I have to try.